Hi there. I've just stripped down this lovely old Irvine 46. I think it's a, a, a Mark 1, one of the very first ones that, that came out. And you can see here I've got all of the components and it's quite gummed up so I want to give it a really good clean before I run it. it it's, I've only just, um, just got this second hand. But what I thought I'd do is a very quick video just showing how to remove the piston ring uh, from the piston. It's a, it's a very simple process but you have to be careful not to break it. I'll just zoom the camera in and show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, well there's our piston and um, we can see there's a, a ring around the top edge here and that's because it's a Dykes piston ring. They sit around the, the very top of the piston around the rim. If it was a conventional piston ring it would just be a little bit further down. These piston rings are, are L-shaped and they sit in a groove on the, the top of the piston. And you can see just there, the, the gap where the piston ring is actually, um, well not joined, um, well the, 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 the gap in the ring because it's not a continuous ring. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this ring is loose. If it's stuck solid in the top of the piston and we put our finger in that gap and try and pull it off, it's going to break. So we need to either soak it in fuel, some thinning oil, and just get, make sure that this piston ring will rotate freely and just start to lift out a little bit. If I put my nail in that and just turn the piston, you can see, hopefully, that the, the ring is just... There we go. The ring is rotating on the top of the piston. So that, that is good. That means we can take it off. Now, the thing to do is to just put your finger in or your, your nail in the top of the piston ring and just stop this end from moving and then this end, put, put your nail in, just lift it up very gently. And once you've got it free of the piston, just lift lift it up. A little bit of pressure on the back here will just force that that edge out and we can now see that that has just lifted out a little bit of the the ring so that front edge of the piston ring there has just lifted out of the ring in the in the piston itself. Now the next thing is easy you just gently push that around and it will take the ring all the way out. So you only really need to get that very first edge lifted out. And there we can see our ring which is still intact and needs cleaning very carefully so we don't break it. As I said these are cast iron so they're quite brittle. I'll put that just there. And we've got the ring oh, is that out of focus, sorry. Um, we've got the, the groove that takes the ring which again we need to make sure that is really clean so that the piston ring will float nice and free. I actually use a, um, like a, a times 10 hand lens and, um, and I actually use that to look in the ring uh, in, in the groove sorry on the piston and just to make sure it's nice and clean and I used a very I'll use a very soft brush just to to get any muck out. So I hope that helped and uh, I'll show you now how to put one back on. Right well I've now cleaned up the the piston I haven't got all of the carbon off I didn't want to use anything too abrasive uh, and that was very very stubborn so I've, I've decided to to leave that but it's it's smooth and clean so that'll be fine. The groove I've made sure there's no dirt or carbon in that I've just run my nail around, fingernails are really good for uh, for cleaning out that groove because your nails are quite hard and they're, but they're not hard enough that they'll damage the the uh, the actual piston itself and like I said I had a look with my magnifying glass just to check there's nothing in there that, that, that could be causing a problem so that's nice and clean and ready to accept the ring the ring itself I've cleaned as well I've cleaned them both with a toothbrush and some, some detergent and then dried them in the oven. You have to be very careful with these rings because they are very brittle. If you just catch them on the, uh, on the join where, where the opening is, then you can, you can break them very easily. So the, the 
this this ring often when you have rings you'll have a peg in the slot and that's where if it's a pegged ring it'll keep the ring in one place and it won't rotate so it avoids the the inlet and exhaust ports and and that so but this isn't this doesn't have a peg so it can freely rotate on the piston and so what that means for us is we can start putting it on wherever we like we don't have to line it up with the peg you would know if there was a peg in there because before we took it off it wouldn't rotate but also you would feel the peg as you went round with your finger and, and, and you would see it in the side of the piston now these Dykes piston rings are L-shaped so if you think of an L uh, the, the coming down and then the piece on the bottom this is the widest bit is on the bottom here and that goes into the groove and the thinner top section of the L goes on the top of the piston I don't know whether I explain that very well but you'll see when it comes off but anyway how to put it on so we get the the gap in the in the ring you can just see that see light through the gap there and we line that up with the top of the piston and you can see there I've just just get a bit closer I've just put the top of that ring into the piston slot like that and all we need to do now is just run our finger round with a little bit of downward pressure and that will put the ring into the slot and you can see there it's gone halfway in and there's a little bit here just needs to go in so we just go around and that's just dropped into place and now that ring oh that ring freely rotates lovely now not like it was before really gummed up these need to be free rotating and be able to just push in and squeeze in a little bit and and so they can go nicely into the liner so that's great i haven't oiled this yet so I didn't want it sliding around in my fingers while I was putting the ring on but now I'm going to oil this and, uh, and put it into the, the liner. So I hope that helped. It, it really is a simple process once you get used to it and it, it isn't anything you should be forcing or struggling with. It should just be a very, very simple process.